Good morning. Welcome to this Bablé Christmas service. Normally, we would be walking to the cathedral today and celebrate there, but for obvious reasons, we can't do this this year. Uh, and we are grateful to Father Dexter and St. John the Baptist Church for letting us record the service or part of the service uh, in the church. So here it is, Merry Christmas. Everybody's having fun. Look to the future now, it's only just begun. So sang Slade all those years ago and in every shop in England for the past six weeks. But here's the nub, the real clue to the future. Mary listened to angels and found things born in her, traveled great distances and found things given to her. Joseph listened to dreams and found reality. The shepherds left their work and found their joy. And wise men abandoned the wisdom, charts, maps, compasses and guidebooks that they already possessed to follow a new star that was rising before them. In order to listen and in order to dream, in order to smile with joy and in order to travel vast distances, in order to learn new ways and trust new leaders, you must first stop, take stock of what you really want from life and where you will really find the direction, affirmation and purposes you seek. It is the longest journey you will ever make. It requires a complete reorientation. It is also the shortest. Its beginning and end can be found in the stable at Bethlehem away in a manger. 
So may I wish you a defragged and rebooted Christmas this year. Things back in the right order, first things first, and with it the joy and peace that is at the heart of the Christmas story. a Covid friendly Christmas amazing for families from the junior school 5 minutes max. Christmas 2020 is going to be a little different this year. Here are a few ideas to help make it memorable. Position to be real for a minute. Christmas and Advent are going to be a little bit different this year. We know you realise it, but sometimes it's helpful to fully admit it. And with the uncertainty of 2020, adding a giant layer of complication to what can already be a stressful time. It is easy to lose focus on what really matters this season. So, instead of giving in to feelings of anxiety or being overwhelmed, we have a few small suggestions that can help your ministry keep strong and Christmas on. A. Admit to yourself, Christmas is likely going to be different this year. B. Acknowledge that different doesn't always have to mean bad. C. Shift your focus from what you can't do and instead focus on what you can do. And to help reaching and shepherding kids and families this Christmas, here are a few ideas to make this season particularly meaningful. Psst. All the resources below contain COVID-friendly options just to make things a little easier. 1. Host an online or socially distanced event. 2. Focus on family at home. 3. Remember, at the end of the day, sometimes the most simple things are more memorable. He's grown that baby. Not that most people have noticed. He still looks the same, lying there in the straw, with animals and shepherds looking on. He's safe there, locked in that moment, where time met eternity. Reality is, of course, different. He grew up, astonished people with his insight, disturbed them with his ideas that stretched them into new maturity. Some found him too difficult to cope with, nailed him down to fit their narrow minds. We are more subtle, keep him helpless, refuse to let him be the man he is, adore him as the Christmas baby, 
eternally unable to grow up until we set him free. By all means, let us pause there at the stable and marvel at the miracle of birth, but we'll never get to know God with us until we learn to find him at the inn, a fellow guest who shares the joy and sorrow, the host who is the life we celebrate. He's grown, that baby. Happy Christmas to you all. Not long now, only a few more minutes uh, left at school. But what is Christmas? You would expect me to tell you about the real meaning of Christmas, the first Christmas, the real Christmas story, Jesus coming into this world. In another word, uh, what we Christians call the incarnation, God in our life. But what does Christmas really mean? Especially this year, what does it mean for us really deep down here? This year, we have learned to stop a little. We have opened our eyes. We have been thinking anew amongst the death, the trouble, the collapse of the economy, online schoolwork, Zoom meetings, teams, loads of walking and walks in the countryside, gardens, masks, gloves, hand sanitizer. We've seen our leaders panic, and I'm asking myself, what does Christmas mean in this context this year? If Christmas is truly incarnation, God with us, we have to ask the questions. It took a virus to realize that our way of life is not good or sustainable. It took this horrible virus to realize back in March that if we want to save lives, we need to stay at home. It took this virus for the earth to breathe, to let nature repair itself from our lack of care, our pollution, our arrogance. It took a virus for us to realize how precious life is and remember values we have long forgotten. And we've discovered solidarity, love for each other, awe and care for animals and nature. We were all in it together. Shame we didn't fight injustice, poverty, hatred, global warming, racism before. It took this virus to do that. We have learned what is essential in life again. Trips, Holidays, going out, money doesn't matter anymore. We have learned to look again at the sky. We have learned to spend time with our family. We have slowed down. We have created new traditions, new rituals. The people we used to admire, like the billionaires and the pop stars, well, not anymore. Now we admire the carers the doctors, the nurses, the del delivery men, teachers. We appreciate our NHS more, our scientists, and now it is Christmas. The story of a child coming among the poor, for people like the shepherds, for people like us, a homeless child asking, will you make space for me? A child born in a stable with animals, symbols of creation and nature. A refugee child asking, will you allow me in? Will you let me stay? I can't help but understanding far better the idea of God with us. The hope of this new vaccine, the hope of love one another, Love your neighbor as yourself. When this virus is over, what will be different? Will you be different? If the answer is yes, then Christmas becomes real. Not just a day, but a way of life. Hearts, souls changing for the better. Not one Christmas, but many, wherever and whenever the story becomes reality. Come, Lord, here today, 
and open, open our eyes to see you. Happy Christmas. Amen. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly And now I'm going to ask you to do something more practical, and uh, I'm going to ask you to stand, uh, you who are listening in your classrooms, and clap for the people that you care about, and clap for our carers, clap for our NHS workers, clap for our doctors, for our teachers, and show appreciation. And I would like to hear some noise around the schools now, in a, in a pre-prep, in a junior school, uh, at the senior school as well. So on a count of three, clap. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you very much. Christmas is the birth of the Prince of Peace. Let us pray for peace using the Coventry Litany of Reconciliation and prayers from the different faith in our community. Welcome, all wonders in one sight, eternity shut in a span, summer in winter, day in night, heaven in earth and God in man. Great little one, whose all-embracing birth brings earth to heaven, stoops heaven to earth. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The hatred which divides nation from nation, race from race, class from class. Father, forgive. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Lord, teach us to make peace with all that surrounds us. May we reflect on the meaning and shape of our universe and nurture it with prayer. May the entire creation move forward in solidarity, oneness of spirit and purpose, and together shape and inherit a legacy worthy of God and man, where peace is not a dream but our true destiny. The curvaceous desires of people and nations to possess what is not their own. Father, forgive. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Muslim prayer. O oh Allah, guide us in the path of peace. 
Your forgiveness is vaster than my sins, and your compassion is more promising than my actions. O oh Allah, make me patient and grateful to you, and make me look small in my own eyes, and great in the sight of others. Amen. The greed that exploits the work of human hands and lays waste the earth. Father, forgive. Our envy of the welfare and the happiness of others. Father, forgive. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Come and listen to me. A Buddhist prayer. As a blind man might find a jewel in a heap of rubbish, so too this awakening mind has somehow appeared in me. This is the elixir of life, born to end death in the world. This is the inexhaustible treasure, alleviating poverty in the world. This is the supreme medicine, curing the sickness of the world, a tree of shelter for weary creatures staggering along the road of existence. Today, I summon the world to Buddhahood, and to worldly happiness meanwhile. In the presence of all the saviors, may gods, titans, and all rejoice. Our indifference to the plight of the imprisoned, the homeless, the refugee, Father, forgive. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. prayer. O oh God, lead us from darkness to light. May all beneficent beings bring peace to us, and may all things be a source of peace to us, and may thy peace itself bestow peace on all, and may that peace come to me also. Santi, Santi, Santi unto all. The lust which dishonours the bodies of men, women and children. Father, forgive. The pride which leads us to trust in ourselves and not in God. Father, forgive. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. A Jewish prayer. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, that we may walk the paths of the Most High, and we shall beat our swords into plowshares, and our spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as Christ forgave you. Amen. Oh Lord, hear my prayer, oh Lord, hear my prayer, when I call, answer me, oh Lord, hear my prayer, oh Lord, hear my prayer, come and listen to me. A Christian prayer. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the crib of Jesus, all are welcome. And that's what the wise men tell us. Over the centuries, they've become increasingly to represent everybody. Artists began to paint them as, as different races, Western, Arab, Black, and portray them as men at different stages of their lives. A youth, a man in his prime, and an old man. They are all of us. Called from all over the world to witness the birth of the new strange king and be changed by it. Jesus is God is not just the possession of people who already know him or of people who are already pure in heart. He draws around the cradle of his new kingdom all kinds of people with all kinds of talents. The only thing that they all have in common is that when they see the baby, they know that they have seen someone who will change their lives. Perhaps the wise men and the shepherds spent the rest of their lives telling the story of this great event. Perhaps every time they told it, they saw more and more of how their lives had prepared them to recognise the baby when they saw it. But the wise men in particular are there to tell us that the same is true for all of us. Whatever our lives have been up until now, as we look and see the baby lying in the straw, we can see in him the loving activity of God. We can look back over the whole of our lives and know that everything, even the things that we are most ashamed of, even the things where we know we have been wrong, have been preparing us to see this baby and know him and accept his gift of life. Let us pray. 
God our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son, grant that as she looked for his coming as our Savior, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again to be our judge, who is alive and reigns with you in a unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>